Hi guys, thanks for checking in. I'm Armin, head of product development at UF Pro. And as we were getting over the last couple of months and years, always the question, what is actually the difference between the Monsoon XT Gen 2 and the Monsoon Gen 2? We thought it's a good idea to make a short video which explains the differences between the two jackets. So to understand the difference between the Monsoon and the Monsoon XT, um, we have to go into the history of the Monsoon jacket. The Monsoon jacket was originally designed for snipers. And as you can imagine, a sniper is in a lying position, crouching position over a very long period of time and in very bad weather. Rain protection is extremely important and it's extremely challenging because the sniper cannot choose the location where he lies or where he crouches uh, according to if there is some water on the ground or not. He has to go down on that spot which gives him the best angle towards um, what he's aiming. So the first main difference between the Monsoon and the Monsoon XT is the length. You see here already that the back length of the XT is much longer than the, uh, the normal Monsoon. And this is because if you are lying, if you are in a shooting position and in case your jacket would move slightly up, then you still have enough overlap between the pants, the Monsoon pants and the Monsoon jacket. So the first difference, the back length. Front length is the same. Second difference, the front zipper. Like I explained, water proofness protection against water entry into the jacket system is paramount. Uh, therefore, always, I mean, not just in this jacket, always the critical point of water entry is the front zipper. So you want to construct the front zipper as waterproof as possible. That is why we have here a double overlapping flap with a water repellent zipper. So flap underneath the zipper, water repellent YKK zipper and on top a very wide uh, flap which covers the water repellent zipper. And again bear in mind the sniper is lying for a very long time on wet surface. So no water, we want no water entry on the front. In comparison the Monsoon, again we have two flaps. We have a, a top flap but it's not as wide as in the Monsoon XT. You see the difference? Here the flap on the Monsoon, here the flap on the Monsoon XT. There is a huge difference. Also here you see a flap underneath. And <coughs> of course also the Monsoon has a YKK water repellent zipper. The Monsoon jacket is I would say a wide range of applications where you want to be reliably and comfortably protected against rain. Even though the membrane is great, it's breathable, but still you would like to have um, some air cir uh, circulating inside the jacket in order to cool you down a little bit. So there is a very long a very long ventilation opening <coughs> on the monsoon. And we have to go here into the details of two zipper sliders. So where these two zippers meet there is a little hole and of course this little hole will lead to water entry. There is of course a flap underneath but over time there could enter water into this area. If you would have just one slider that closes downwards, you would still have, just imagine here is no, no zipper slider, but it's just the lower edge. Here would be again a little hole 
which causes uh, water entry. Even if you would cover that slider with what we call a garage, then uh, this garage would uh, actually work like a funnel and water would enter into the garage and then into that little hole. The same thing, of course, also in the other direction. If it would be just one zipper slider, which is closing to the top, then you would have the problem here in this area. So that's why there is two zipper sliders. And if you're exposed to extreme rain, then our recommendation is that the two zipper sliders are meeting in a place where you have, due to your body movements, uh, the maximum of, let's say, or the least possibility that water is reaching there. Uh, for example, the armpit area. So if you imagine that this is the armpit area, then still there is that little hole, but uh, it would be covered by your, by your arms. So there is still the hole, but it's covered with your arms. And again, in cases of a sniper, that is of course not possible because he, his position is not defined by the weather, but his position is defined by the target. The side zipper, in this case, is just in this area. So that means that this critical hole up here, it's more or less covered by this flap. And if you want to get some air inside, you open it up. And if the officer wants to, or the soldier wants to reach to something which he's wearing on his belt, he has the possibility to open up the side zipper from the bottom and he can open up the jacket and get to whatever he's wearing on his belt. And this can be, of course, connected and is covered. Third difference. The XT jacket has a Velcro area on the upper sleeve pocket. The monsoon jacket doesn't. Because we didn't want the monsoon jacket to look too much uh, tactical. Uh, as we said already, it should or it could be worn in a, in a very wide range of applications. And the last difference is color availability. This might change in the future, but currently the XT jacket is available in brown gray and in multicam. The Monsoon Gen 2 is just in black color available. So guys, let's wrap it up. Difference between Monsoon XT and Monsoon Gen 2. Main first difference is the front flap construction. Second difference, uh, the Monsoon XT is a little bit longer in the back area. Third difference, the Monsoon XT has Velcros on the upper sleeve pocket. And of course, color availability is also a difference. Monsoon XT comes in brown gray and in multicam, while the Monsoon comes just in black. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time.